In this video, I try to see how long I can survive in the showers only on Mob of the Dead. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Enough chit chat. Welcome everyone to the first video of 2023 and we're starting the year off right by playing some mob of the dead uh, i'm gonna try something different today so we're going down to the laundry room and we're gonna see how long we can survive down there i believe there's a remington shotgun that we can use and that's kind of our primary weapon that we're going to be using to see how far we can actually get I'll grab this double points because i need to be able to actually get to the laundry room by hopefully round two okay so i'm pretty sure you're last let me just Double check that around here. Will this be enough points to get us to the laundry room? Let's find out. What? I completely forgot that we only had to open like one door. So obviously we had enough money, but same rules as before. Now that we are in here, we cannot leave. I kind of anticipated on the key being there. So we'd be able to open this. I don't really know why, because I feel like once you're in there, it's kind of a death trap, but I think it's just kind of my subconscious being like, yeah, there's the Remington. Nice. I think it's just my subconscious being like, uh, more space more room to survive that's not exactly the way that this works i'd say now the challenge really begins can we survive the warden can we survive the zombies and how far can we actually get to also i always want to call this laundry it's only because that there's a washing machine over here this is actually the showers right yes <laughs> is this showers or laundry i don't know that sign tells me that we're entering the showers it's the showers right ah all right, I mean, I, I guess I'll take it. Where are y'all? Oh, you're still coming down the stairs, taking your good old time. Let me teach you a lesson. Come here. But I just wanted to briefly take this moment before we like really get into this challenge uh, to thank you guys so, so much for a great 2022. I don't know why, but I always just kind of anticipated that when I was to start a YouTube channel and stuff that it just would kind of fall flat on its face. But doing this week over week has been so much fun and I can't wait to pump out even more stuff in 2023. So with that being said, if you're new around here uh be sure to drop a like on the video and uh subscribe if you haven't already but enough with the sappy crying and thank yous let's get on with this Ooh, i guess we might as well use that no use to waste our ammo and stuff so we're already moving on to round five this is gonna be i find myself using the word interesting a lot but in this case i think it's valid interesting to see just how much damage the remington can keep up round over round because obviously for every challenge i do round 10 is kind of the goal but most of the time i have a gun that like does not deal anywhere near this much damage we also have access to all the ammo because of like just the wall buy spot and whatnot you know classic somerset challenge stuff but even still the way that the showers are constructed they they are wisely built in a way to make it challenging training in here is not easy as a matter of fact I'm gonna chuck some grenades. How the fuck are you still wiggling? That's what I'm saying. So it looks like the Remington is already falling off, which sucks. <laughs> if I aim for the head, it becomes a little bit better. But my name is Somerset, and I have the aim of a stormtrooper. Uh, let me see if I can end round with this guy. Yeah, and we'll save that into the next round. I don't know how helpful it's going to be, but I'm sure it'll take out a few. Let's go. Probably wasn't all that useful, to be fair. What a great time for me to buy ammo. Yeah, I'm definitely not using that. I don't even know what I was thinking. I don't, what do I need the points for? There's nothing I can buy. I can buy a Remington. That's it. Ah! Ah! Oh, no. Oh, wait a second. I threw and through, forgot that it's not an instant down. What am I doing? Normally, I do my research on these challenges. I try to see what can be done, what can't be done, what makes it challenging, what makes it easy. Completely forgot that we have like three downs per round almost. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I just screwed. I, I, yeah, yeah, this is bad. Okay. Why did I go up the stairs? I knew I wasn't allowed to leave the room. So clearly the, uh, the downs, the fact that we have three per round is not going to make it easy on me, no matter what. Ah, what are you, what? He took two shotgun blasts to his ugly mug. That sucks. How did I lose all three in a single round? That is embarrassing. Oh dear. Okay. Run. So Remington. Damage falls off rapidly. Good to know. New information for the file. Okay, there we go. Whew. That was a little bit nerve wracking. And then when does the warden come in? Round eight? Is it round eight like Origins? Or is the warden random? That is one fact about mob that I am unsure about. Ah, get off me. Get off me. I gotta make the full circle. I gotta circle around. Chuck some nades. Don't let me get hit again. But I gotta... <sighs> Somerset, what are you doing? Stop coming back over here, my friend. Actually, I can't even call you that because you're not my friend. You're an ugly mug that's in my way. Why am I running this way? Why? 
What am I thinking? Okay, let's go ahead and try this again, shall we? Very good, and this time I actually got the key. Did I get the... Did I get the key? I have the key, right? Yeah. For some reason, it doesn't look like it's in my inventory, which is odd. And again, I don't know why I feel the need to have this open, and I think it just gives me more square footage, and in my brain, I'm like, yeah, that's enough. That, that's good. As a matter of fact, if I find myself going in here, that's probably a guaranteed down. There's my mans. Come here. Come here. Good man. Ooh, and we got a nuke. Get it now. I'm sure it'll only knock off. I mean, it's round two. It probably only knocked off like four zombies. Oh, what's up, bud? Goodbye. <laughs> Again, originally I thought that like this challenge wouldn't be too, too difficult because of the Remington. But I guess I forgot to count for uh, the Remington's damage falling off very rapidly. For some reason, I remember this gun being like really, really good. And I'm sure it is like pack-a-punch. But as is, round seven was rough. <laughs> hello, hello. I'll end you now. Wait a second. I thought that was, I thought that was the beginning of the night. What? I I'm so... What? I legitimately thought that round three ended and that was the beginning of the next round. I was hyper confused. Wow. Wow, my aim sucks. So my aim feels good all of a sudden until it like matters. And then all of a sudden my aim just goes out the window as if I've never played a video game before in my life. Like imagine insta kill and double points again. Not that we need the points for anything. Like, what is there to buy? But this is a deadly combo, should this have been a regular game of zombies. This is a weird one, for sure. Like, it feels very familiar, me being stuck in a room with one weapon and trying to see how high I can get, but there's just something off about mob and the way that it's one room challenges actually function. I can't really put my finger on it. I can't really describe why. Ah! That guy turned into Mike Tyson for a second. That was that was crazy. It seems like round five is like really the, the changing point of them becoming faster, more aggressive. All right, loop them, loop them. Let's uh, chuck some nades. Why not? Who's left? Who's left? Oh, I straight up killed them all. OK, there's uh there's new zoom spawning. Wild. I'll try and kill you with this. How many does it take? Just about two magazines? Where's where's the zoom? I hear you. What are you doing? What are you doing back there? I thought I saw something in there from earlier, but... Goodbye? What the... Well, let's end it. Let's end it. I mean, I don't know about ending the round, but end my suffering momentarily, I suppose. Double points. The power-up that we definitely do not need. I feel like I haven't even had to buy ammo this entire, like attempt but then again it's not round seven yet ah what the, what the, get away from my carcass are those last two i hope so not last two okay oh you've got to be last i'll buy ammo just because i can wow it, it's a curse it is a curse it doesn't matter what version of zombies you're in as soon as you buy uh, why why did i moan like that when i died that's the wrong website run run oh i, th I thought i got away with it look at him it's a paranormal pool party. Like, what's going on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why did I feel the incessant need to do- Oh, 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 oh. Nate him. Nate him. Nate -o. Oh, oh, how am I still alive? This is insane. This is crazy. I'm sweating like a whomping willow. This is insane. I will need that max ammo in a second here, but- Oh, oh. Get away. I wasn't gonna risk the second melee. I just wasn't. Give me this. And your suffering. Oh, what a round. How did we even survive? That was insane. There is zero. Oh, I was gonna say there's zero chance for surviving this round, but now the chances are much, much higher. What, what RNG? Should, should I be running moon right now? This is, wow. Look at the points. This is insane. I don't even care about ammo. I, could, I, I got the money to buy more ammo. I am not risking the melee on an insta kill. Oh, I should have ri oh, I should have risked the melee on that insta kill. <laughs> no New Year's Eve parties. Please move on. Press forward. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, I thought I could make it. What? How long are these arms that they have? All right. This is this is our last chance. And what a failed chance it was. What was I even trying to do? And once again we come back to the showers to be stuck here eternally. D I Oh no! I literally, I did the thing to drop the key and I forgot to grab the key. I mean, it's not like it was gonna do us any good anyway, but even still, the, the OCD in me needs this door to be open. I love this map so much. And when it comes to actually talking about this map, it's funny because my knowledge of the map is, I like to think pretty strong. The Easter egg is like so simple. It's like, it's one of the Easter eggs that I'll 
we'll never forget. You know, certain Easter eggs you go months, even years without playing, inevitably you forget the steps. And there was a point in time in my life where I went years without playing this egg, and as soon as I hopped back on to give it another shot, instantly remembered. Was I successful in completing the Easter egg? That is another question I am not willing to answer. But that aside, the Easter egg is awesome. Is it too simple? When you compare it to other Easter eggs, yeah, I suppose. Because you more or less just fly to the bridge three times get the spork, fight each other. But it's the story that the Easter egg tells that I'm absolutely in love with and is the reason why it's one of my favorite Easter eggs. As simple as it may be, story is usually king. In some aspects, it depends because in Black Ops 4, story was very clearly king, but it was put over map design and gameplay. And that is bad. That is really, really bad. Your map design and mechanic logic should always come first. And then if you decide that you want to focus more on the story instead of refining those mechanics, I, I'll okay, I guess. But even still, when it comes to video games, typically game mechanics are always going to come before story. That is, unless your game is entirely about story. Like Naughty Dog games, for example, The Last of Us, Uncharted, those games are story games. And so, of course, the story is going to come first, but they also make sure that their mechanics work well, that the gameplay is fluid. Black Ops 4 Zombies did not do that. It was story first and then it was how can we design a map around the story instead of can we design a map and then put a story in it, which is kind of the way that most previous zombies maps have felt and for me personally and my taste is the way i like my maps to be designed now it obviously can go in the opposite direction in that your mechanics and your map design come before the story a little too much and that's kind of what happened to every cold war map after d machine d machine is prime example of how i like my maps to be designed mechanics and map design come first and then you put a story within the map d machine did that so well and then it just seemed like every other map after that including firebase z which i think has like a very divided community the mechanics were already set in stone and then it just felt like the map design was lackluster like they just kind of stopped caring Maybe that was because they didn't have the money. Activision likes to take various developers and move them to other projects that are making more money. And so it's definitely possible that the developers working on D Machine were repurposed for Warzone. But it's very unfortunate because Firebase Z for me is like very meh. And then Mauer is really cool because it's dark and feels a little more like Black Ops 3 Zombies. But even still, it was just kind of taken from the campaign and then kind of repurposed. And then we don't even really talk about Forsaken. That map, I just kind of refuse to admit even exists. Uh oh. Uh oh. Reload. Reload it. Here it starts to be our problems, okay? And I might need to start chucking some nades. Ah, ah. I ain't dealing with this. Come on. Another nade. There we go. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna have to buy ammo for the shotgun here in a second. Let's just kind of clear out some area. Looks like it's only crawlers left for the most part. And then we'll just take care of them. Consider yourself taken care of. And now we are back to our good old fella round seven, which is probably where I'm going to go down. Unless I can get some just amazing nukes or insta kills and pull off the full insta kill slaughter. I just don't see us getting past round seven, to be totally honest. And part of that is hands down my fault for just being a bad zombies player. You know what? That's okay, because this challenge has actually been a lot of fun. Ah! Oh, my movement feels good. I'm just not fast enough. Stop standing over my corpse. Oh, wow. That's a lot of zooms. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was going to happen no matter what. Wow. I got to get to the opposite side. And I'm out of grenades because, well, I only had two and I chucked them both. Can I please have a decent shot where I'm aiming on target? I'll just hip fire. <gasps> that was the nuke. That was the nuke we needed. That was the nuke we needed. Let's go. Buy ammo just because I can. I'll be totally honest. I absolutely did not expect to get to round eight. That just kind of blew my mind. Wah wah wee wah. Wah wah wee wah. Okay, so the whole thing that I think I need to do, and I don't even know if I can make it work. It's the idea of constantly moving, right? Which is, oh, 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 oh no. No, I thought I could do it. Okay, so the idea of constantly moving is just out the window because I am set up for failure here. There is just literally no chance that I can make this work. I threw both of my grenades, which is bad. Yeah, I, I, I think this is it. I see no possible circumstance in which I get out of this constant movement. Oh, yeah, there it is. Just absolutely zero chance.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. 2022 was an awesome year. I want to thank you all so much for all the support you've shown. If you're looking for something else to watch, maybe check out this video right here and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.